And on the eleventh day, God looked down at Leafy and said he needs a companion. So God made Mr. Tinfoil Man. God said, I need someone willing to wake up, give Leafy kisses, pee on his leg, chase him all day until midnight, while Leafy begs for death while hiding beneath a broken television set. So God made Mr. Tinfoil Man. God said, I need someone willing to think of nothing but Leafy, all Leafy living. All Leafy living and breathing Leafy. Then, with no ego or complaint, dress him in hats he doesn't want, in costumes he doesn't understand. I need someone that can fart in Leafy's face without a care. Who can chase Leafy, smell his crotch, lick his screaming face. Someone that no matter what insults Leafy screams or what Leafy does will still love him without judgment just the same. So God made Mr. Tinfoil Man. God said I need someone strong enough to drag Leafy from room to room yet gentle enough not to break any of his bones. So God made Mr. Tinfoil Man. It would have to be somebody that would remain patient and loyal even throw in some jail time. Someone that after getting out of jail once again, tracks Leafy down and does it all over again. So God made Mr. Tinfoil Man. <laughs>